Hello, hello, hello. I'm Elker Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next Studio Series 86 movie figure review. And today we are looking at the Transformers the movie 1986 Studio Series Ironhide and this is such a better Ironhide than the Earthrise one, especially considering, you know, there's no parts forming. Oh, there's no big like canopy and um, there's an actual back to the van rather than the bottom of big bulky feet so so much better I mean even with my upgrade kit the earthrise ironhide you know looks decent which you know it, it's nice it works but this one's so much better And, like, the colors are a little bit off on perfectly matching, but still, it's not too bad. You know, I mean, the Earthrise Ironhide had the same issue. But don't get me wrong. Earthrise Ironhide, still a pretty decent figure, especially if you get some of the um, add-on kits or upgrade kits that are available um, like on TF Safari and eBay and stuff but yeah definitely you know still not bad of a figure but this one pulls it off so much better so much better but let's take a look at our packaging and here we go Transformers the movie it's Cartomi Generations Transformers 86 number 17 studio series Ironhide Hasbro great image of Ironhide on the front there on the side he's a Voyager class studio series 86 number 17 another image there Ironhide looking great on this side big image full image of Ironhide in all his glory there's 86 again on the bottom barcode bunch of different words and stuff on the top, the Transformers, the movie, and on the back, our product shots, along with the backdrop that is included. Warning in multiple languages, don't eat anything in here. And yeah, very cool. So looking really nice. We'll move that out of the way and I'll bring back in for the backdrop when I have him in robot mode. And here again is Ironhide. And just looks so amazing. You can already see I have the gun stored. Kind of gives it um, tailpipes. I think that's really cool. You can also untab them from the back. And you can tab them in the front. If you like. Just like this. There he's got weapons in the front. You can also take them. And tab them up top for weapons on top. So very cool on that. I like that. But I kind of like just tabbing them in the back. They're a little more hidden. And they kind of give that like look of exhaust tips in a way. So works out very nicely. I do have this one issue. Like I get it tabbed in on both sides very nicely. But it like sort of comes off a little bit here it also doesn't like fully plug in there's a little bit of a gap but it's not bad it works um you can kind of see like this spacing here it looks like where the yellow line should be i think they didn't do the yellow pinstripe on the side on him because um it wasn't really he didn't go into vehicle mode in the movie um and you didn't see the pinstripe um the cartoon itself the show i don't remember honestly if he was just full-on red or if he did have the yellow pinstripe hard to remember that i know the toy had it i just can't remember if every scene of him in the cartoon 
had it. I just know the movie. We didn't really see him transform um, out of robot mode. But, yeah. So, I did bring in... You know, I rarely do this, but I did bring in for comparison my Earthrise Ironhide. And you see the differences there. You know, and it still looks good. It's still a nice Ironhide. I like it. Looks better with the add ons that I did. And, you know, like the tires that I did that are different or that I got that are different. You know, the, the change in the feet. So it gives more of, um, A back door, you know, more of a surface, which looks better. But again, this one pulls it off so much better. Like you can see the differences there. You know, again, you know, not bad. Pulls it off much better. Could use a, could have used a bit more paint, you know, for the tail lights. But still works works so much better you know and i also like the fact that like because with earthrise ironhide and ratchet you had to get upgrade kit for the tires or our add-ons for the tires or different tires for them through a third party vendor or fourth party vendor whatever you want to call it in order to give it that earth tire that earth mode tire rather than you know he still had the cyber cybertron tires for this this mold they fixed that with this he has earth tires and rims much better so much better I mean, the one weird thing though that is like there's that on the windows i don't i mean cool but still, eh, not bad. I like it. It just looks so awesome, so amazing. Looking forward to the inevitable repaint slash slight remold into Ratchet. You know, I mean, we're, we'll get the light bar on top and the different head. It's really all that's needed. Otherwise, you know they're going to do it because... They did this mold. Why not make more money on it? Knowing people are going to want, going to want ratchet in this size, in this mold. I do. I would love that. He is actually taking his place on the shelves I have for my G1-esque characters. For all these ones that have been replaced by certain studio series figures or a better up date or an upgrade they just get moved on to a different shelf that's from in my mind an alternate universe so i think i have blathered on enough so yeah so we'll bring him back in when we do robot mode you know me i rarely do um comparisons but i figured people would want to see earthrise comparison with the studio series yeah so yeah wonderful blue translucent windows all the way around silver on the rims looks good you know the silver on the guns which i'll pull those off and it's the same thing but we'll take a look again looks very nice looks like it's molded in black and then painted silver so absolutely love that front end painted all in silver got the autobot symbol right there looks very nice there you can see the bottom the back oh sorry rear bumper painted in silver again very nice um one issue i have that i'm worried about happening down the road at a future point is a lot of these translucent parts with the paint on them we know how often they crack crumble so I'm hoping it's a good plastic that holds up. We shall see. But yeah, so I think... Oh, and don't want to forget, he rolls very nicely, which, funny enough, he rolls better than this one with the replacement tires. You see, they barely roll. It's 
especially on that front, especially this one. And I don't know why. But get him out of here. Get back to him. So yeah. So let's transform him into robot mode. What we want to do first? Kind of want to. Uh, you want to wiggle this to untab it. And there's these tabs that sort of go in between right in here right above and that's how that tabs in uh, pull this down we'll leave that like that we're gonna untab this yeah you can see how well that holds together now then but yeah when you tab them in I don't know if it's just something was not squeezed very much, but yeah. So there's two tab points. And it's right there. See two tabs, one on the outside, one on the inside. That's how they tab in. So we'll bring these out. And then we're going to pull this out like this. Bring it up. Then untab these. Bring them out just enough so we can untab the sides here to bring them out you kind of want to make sure that these are sitting at a point where they won't get in the way but yeah with that done we'll bring these all around and there's a tab right here that tabs in right there so just like that we'll bring this down and this actually has a tab right here that plugs in I believe right here so we want that all the way in same thing here bring it down tab it and then we will untab the legs and untab these yeah this these do tend to come untabbed sometimes but once you get it all finished, it looks good. So now we'll fold this in like this, fold this in, and then we want to bring it in like this, and that's his foot. And fold this down, and that is one leg completed. So same thing here. I'm going to angle it up, fold that in, fold this in, and then we can fold this all in, and this down. And there is another foot. And there are his legs all done. And we are getting closer. So now we're going to untab these. Fold them out. Fold them out. Rotate this up. And what we want to do is we want to bring this down so we can rotate it right here. You kind of want it angled like this. We can rotate it all the way around. Then... We're going to come down just like this. Kind of plug it in there. We can bring the fists out, and they just sit at an angle like that. They don't really lock in when you bring them out either. That's kind of a bummer. But bring them down, and it's just sort of tab in together right in there. So then we can rotate this all down. Same thing here. Open this up. And what we want to do, we want to fold this in. Fold same thing on that side. Then we want to bring, come on, bring the head up. Fold this in and get it sitting in there so we can fold it the rest of the way. Then this comes up and just sits right there just like that and I think that is Studio Series Ironhide all done and he looks great like I am loving it I think he is the best mainline Ironhide that we have ever gotten um, the only one that is even slightly better, and even with that, you still need the Shadow Fisher upgrade kit, but that would be the M Masterpiece Ironhide. 
Like that one pulls off so much, but this one is up there with it, honestly. Um, you know, so definitely looking good. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. So, yeah. So bring him in. Take a look not at the chest, which is the window, the front windshield, of course, but at the head. Very nice iron Heidi head. Oh, got the beautiful silver face, those blue eyes, the red helmet, the mohawk. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I think to call that. The rest just looks amazing just looks so good they they did a great job with this there's like hardly anything that needs improvement i mean a couple of spots but other than that absolutely great like just looks good like wow and backpack pretty decent backpack articulation for him head it's on a ball joint turn all the way around Look up mm, that far, down that far. And it helps because that piece that for transformation moves a bit. Arms come out, and I love how they did this. Like they that that's cool. I like the fact that they did that. Do a full 360. We have our bicep swivel. We have 90. Yeah, 90 for an elbow. We have waist. We'll bring this up. We can get him to kick forward that far. It's not too much of a forward kick. Same thing, not too much of a back kick. We've got full Van Dam. Thigh swivels right there. 90 for knee. And then the foot can move in and out. And you got like you got quite a bit of movement with the foot and then He's got ankle pivot. So, very cool. Very nice. Absolutely love it. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, and for a quick comparison, here is our Earthrise Ironhide. I got I'm trying to get him in a decent pose or standing position. But yeah, so there is our Earthrise Ironhide with studio series iron ride see studio series just did so much of a better job absolutely love it not that i don't like the earth rise iron hide i just think this one does it so much better like definitely um so yeah and then of course he can hold his weapons Plug them in. Plug this in. And there we go. And there he is, wheeling his dual blasters. So, yeah. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend this. Um, they, uh, I think he's showing up in some targets uh some people have been able to find them in their local target my closest target um nothing yet i know there are other targets that people in um the state where i live have been finding them but that's more of a drive for me i don't get out that way so the closest one is in the the city i live in and that one is very slow on getting stuff so i found mine through amazon check there you know they're they almost always have free i think they always have free shipping so you're going to save a little money there you're pretty much going to be paying retail price plus tax so definitely recommend checking amazon Definitely keep an eye out for it. And before I forget, which I almost forgot, 
don't want to forget this, our backdrop. We'll bring that in, and here you can see it is the bridge of the Autobot shuttle that he that him and Ratchet and Prowl were taking to Earth. And of course, we can put him in there, and you know, if you want, you could have him aiming his his weapons at the Decepticons that are breaking in. So yeah, it's um you know, adds to kind of a scenery if you want to do that. If you have room on your shelf, I do not have room on my shelf, unfortunately. I love the backdrops. I just if only I had the room. That is the one bummer about limited space. In fact, I'm sort of reaching a point where I think I may need to sell a few things. But as for Studio Series Ironhide, highly recommend him. Definitely get him. Um, you know, especially if you're a big G1 fan like I am, or you're a big fan of the '86 movie. You know, highly, highly recommend it. So, yeah, that is going to be it for me. I'll say thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.